Um, I like how we came out aggressive on both sides of the ball. We did a good job of, um, you know, our, our offense moved the ball wherever they could. Our, you know, passing game, we were 24 for, or 22 for 24, six, I don't know, something, something stupid high. <laughs> and then defensively, we did a good job outside of the second play um, of kind of smothering their, their offense. So the, both sides of the ball, they did a good job of executing with the good discipline and with things that we needed to do. What's really the focus this week in preparing um, for some of the challenges that Leo presents, and what are your biggest concerns going up, up against a, a team like them offensively and defensively? Uh, well, Leo presents some other challenges. They've got some of the most explosive athletes we've seen, um, some big playmakers, and number three, Caden Hurst. I mean, he's at explosive plays every every single week somewhere on the field. Uh, Brock shot at tight end and defensive end, both sides of the ball, another big big player. I mean, they've got a bunch of guys that can make plays just as talented as our group. So um, we just got to be more disciplined and do things, execute the way we need to. Uh, for you, um, what is uh, knowing that this is a game that could have, it's week four, but it could have big NE8 championship implications. How does your team approach that and make sure that uh, you guys are ready to answer the bell in a game that could ultimately determine you know, whether or not you bring home a conference championship at the end of the season or not? Yeah, I mean, I think it's the same as we've talked about before this season is we, we're going to be better than the team we were last week. So um, whoever lines up across from us is just, you know, in the way of whatever we're doing. We're going to do what we do, get better at our job, and, and get one better than we were the week before.